So this is the Elegoo Smart Robot Car version 4.0. It comes in this box right here. It comes with everything you need inside, uh, including the tools to assemble it. It does not come assembled. You need to assemble it. And assembling it is part of the fun. It is marketed for kids age 12 and up, and I definitely think it. you need to be at least age 12 in order to uh, assemble this thing. It took me about... Uh, 30 to 45 minutes to assemble it. It's a lot of fine work. There's some really tiny screws that you can see on this thing. So you need to be able to be pretty uh, nimble with your fingers. And so um, certainly even a 12 year old might need some parental help with assembling this. Um, but assembling it is part of the learning process, getting to know about circuitry, electronics. And so there's a great learning experience just in assembling it itself. It has some cool features like a camera, and it can teach kids some basic coding concepts. So I'm gonna show you some of the features now. It does come with also, it has a rechargeable battery. So um, you turn this on in order to get the Alagu going. And I'm gonna show you how you can use it uh, with the app. So you do need to use and download an app in order to uh, get most of the functions. There is also a remote uh, that came with it, but I found the remote to be a bit finicky. Um, to be honest, so I've just stuck with the app. So the app looks like this. It's the Elegoo app. So I'm going to click it here. And in here we have some options, remote programming. It does take you through the step-by-step -step, uh, instructions for build. So we'll start with the remote. So the remote is really just the play. And so this is where you can see, so my Elegoo is already connected. If it wasn't connected, you'd have to. So this is what is in front of me right now is a rock climbing wall here and so you can see that the Elegoo's got my got the video running which is a cool feature and my kids definitely liked this so then you can just um, use this as if it was like a remote control car so you press forward turn it drive it so you can see all the stuff in my house right now okay so here we go that's how that feature works So there also is the coding function on this robot, which is what I like uh, about it. And I think it's cool that kids can learn basic concepts of coding with this robot car. So in, for this part, you're gonna need to go into the programming. And from here, essentially they use a block-based coding in order to um, run the robot, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna design a simple algorithm that's going to take this robot along this very simple maze here, okay? So it already has the first block, which is when the green uh, triangle is clicked, this is going to start. And so we're gonna be using the motion uh, here. So we're gonna get it to move forward and we're gonna go at a medium speed, let's say. And we're gonna do that for one second. Maybe we'll do one and a half seconds, let's see. Oops. And then we're gonna want it to turn right. And let's again get it at a medium speed. And this time, let's do it for 0.5 seconds. I already played around with this, so I know a little bit about how much it's gonna need in order to do a 90 degree turn, which is about half a second at medium speed. And then I'm gonna want it to go forward again. Medium speed for one second. Okay, let's see if this works in order to complete our algorithm. So we press the green button. So we were close. Uh, we didn't quite, we got went a little bit too far on this one. So I'm gonna reset this. And this is debugging and coding, right? So now we went, when, when we did 1.5 seconds, it was a little too far, pushed right through the barrier there. So let's try one second and see how that goes. So let's try it. 
pretty good. We probably could have gone for 1.25 seconds there, but essentially you get the idea. That's how the coating function works. You don't have to use magnetic tiles like I'm using. These are just magnetic tiles. You can use anything. You can use tape. You can use obstacles. You can use card um, construction paper, whatever you want to try to take, create an algorithm. And obviously the algorithms can become more complex over time. Uh, but this is how you learn basic coding with this Elegoo smart robot car. Hope you enjoyed my review.